shiny, 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 guys. Who loves shinies? I know I do. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Star Lords, and welcome back to episode two of my Pokemon Brick Bronze wish list. A little list of things I would love to see added into Pokemon Brick Bronze in the future to make the game last a little bit longer and make it more enjoyable to play. Today's wish list, uh, wish I guess, is horde encounters. Now, a lot of you guys are probably thinking right now, what is a horde encounter? What even is that? You're crazy, man. Well, no, I'm not crazy. A horde encounter is actually been on the Nintendo DS versions of the games for, I think, maybe three generations now. And a lot of people really, really love them. The, the original people who play those games, you know, the original games, they love them. Uh, basically, what Horde Encounters are, are basically when you go into a tall piece of grass in a certain location, you will encounter a horde of Pokemon. So basically, uh, instead of it being a Pikachu, it will be like five Pikachus. Now, what is really awesome about this little uh, thing they decide to add into the game is that people found that there is actually a 5 in 4096 chance that one of those Pokemon will be, or five of those Pokemon, is it five? Yeah, it, it, that, like one of those Pokemon, or five of those Pokemon in 4096 will be a shiny Pokemon. Now. A lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, that's not really that impressive. That's like a 5 in 4,096 chance. That's like, that's a big number. Well, no. Basically, um, let me just say that in the original Pokemon games, there is also a shiny charm. Now, unlike Pokemon Brick Bronze, where you have to pay for it, you actually unlock this by unlocking the full Pokedex. Now... Um, when you got the shiny charm, you could actually go and put an item on your Pokemon that increases the chances of encountering Horde Pokemon. And I actually believe that every encounter you get is a Horde Pokemon. I believe that's what the item did. So, first off, they could add that item into the game. Uh, maybe make it where you had to pay for it. I'm not really too sure. I think it should probably be free though, because the shiny charm... You have to pay for it. So yeah, the Horde Charm, maybe make it where it's free. Or, or you had to buy it with Poker Dollars at least. Yeah, one of those. Uh, but on top of that, when you go into an encounter with a Shiny Charm active and the Horde encounter active, uh, basically your chances of 5 in 4096 would skyrocket down to 5 in 1365. Now guys... That is extremely, extremely impressive. That is like a good chance of finding a shiny Pokemon, I've got to admit. Now, people on the Nintendo DS versions of Pokemon actually reported that they would find at least two shinies in one hour using this method. That is crazy good. That is crazy good. Imagine if you had a Horde Charm and you just went in. You would find, hopefully around about two shiny Pokemon in an hour. Now, isn't that brilliant? Wouldn't you like that added to the game? I mean, seriously, that would be so cool. Now, one thing about these shiny charms, or horde encounters even, sorry, is basically when you are hatching, the, uh, when you are going to get these shinies, you have no choice of what the IVs will be, which is, you know, that's that's kind of, that's a bit sad, because a lot of people like to hunt for really good IVs. Um, basically, no, it's just going to be random, because there's going to be five Pokemon in the field, one of them is going to be a shiny Pokemon, uh, and that's crazy. Or maybe even two of them, which is really crazy. I remember I was watching a live stream, and someone encountered five shiny Pokemon on the Horde. So out of the five Pokemon that they encountered, all of them were shinies. I know, right? But there is also a downside to this, and that is that when you encounter five Pokemon, you have to defeat four of them. You must have to defeat four of them in order to catch the other one. You cannot catch all five of the Pokemon. So the person who encountered all of those five Pokemon must have been very, very angry. I mean, I would be. I'd be like, oh my god, why are you doing this to me? I am Game Freak. Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, I'd be pretty angry too, to be honest. Uh, but basically, guys, this would be a great opportunity to actually give the players who have played this game so long without the shiny charm a better chance of catching shiny Pokemon. Personally, 
I think they should do it. I know that they're definitely capable of doing it. I mean, the code would have to be changed, um, but I think with a little bit of time working on it, it would be perfect. And I have to say, if they don't decide to add this into the game, which would be very sad, anybody who is developing their own Pokemon game, definitely look into Horde's Encounters, because if you release a game, a Pokemon game, on uh, Roblox with Horde's Encounters, the people who cannot afford your shiny charms will be very grateful and they will love you for it. You will be a god amongst men. Uh, but yeah, I know that I will probably kiss your toes for doing it too. So uh, yeah, lube those bad boys up because I'm gonna be licking them. Um, but anyway guys, yeah, tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that uh, Lando and t Bradem should definitely think about adding Horde Encounters into Pokemon Brick Bronze so that people can get a easier chance of getting shiny? I think they should. I think it would be extremely awesome. Uh, but anyway, guys, have a very awesome day. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.